Hello guys, welcome back to another YouTube AMA with Newton School. Today we again have a very special guest with us, Sagar. We are going to talk about Sagar today, what his history has been like, what his educational background has been like, and get to know him and his journey a little bit more. So welcome Sagar, I hope you are well. Yeah ma'am, thank you. First of all, I, will, I would like to thank you for inviting me to the AMA session. Uh, no worries. I really like talking to you. So the other day I was talking to Sagar and I and I really liked his approach uh, towards life in general. And I wanted him to come and you know talk to the uh, have candid conversation with the students. I hope anyone who's watching this will be able to relate to him and uh, you know uh, relate to the problems that he has been. We would be uh, taking it uh, step by step from point A to B. So Sagar, let's start with uh, your educational background, which. You know, which degree have you pursued and when did you graduate? Yeah, ma'am. I have completed my bachelor's of engineering degree in mechanical and I am graduated in 2018. Okay. So, yeah. 2018 to 2022. That means four yes, years of a gap. What did you yeah, do during that time? Yeah, that time during I was preparing for competitive exams like uh, state exams and uh, central government exams. Okay. So after four years, what made you switch to, you know, a career in tech and become a software developer? Yeah, ma'am. Uh, first of all, I search about the career opportunities that will de definitely fit for me. And I find the tech is the best career for me to uh, gradually increase my career in that field. So I decided to choose as a tech my, as my career. So uh, since you were from like a non-CS background, like you said, you were from mechanical and again, yes. you had a career gap of almost four years. And then when you started uh, the journey right from scratch to become a software developer, was it really, really challenging or uh, how did you manage to, you know, cope up with the rest of your batchmates? Yeah, ma'am. Initially, it's really becomes so difficult for any non-tech or even I can say that even CS students also struggle in an initial phase. But uh, after you cope up with the pace of other students, you will definitely overcome that challenges that comes to your your your, your path. So that in and also in a Newton school, you get all the resources and the materials and mentors, everything that you need. You can uh, use that material and resources, and you can succeed in this tech field. Also, I believe since you were preparing for uh, you know uh, government exams and things like that so you already must have had a routine right so that yeah. routine must be really helpful for you to you know uh, prepare things and you would be studying in a proper way yeah ma'am, definitely it is like uh, ment maintaining that discipline for the long period it is re really necessary and patience is required for achieving anything so uh, let's talk about during Newton school. So once you started, like you said, initially it was challenging. So I see a lot of students, you know, who have this, uh, you know, uh, confusion in their minds that we are from non-CS backgrounds, software developers or coding or tech in general is just for people who know a little bit of coding. But um, stories like you, instances like you, and there are all of there are. Uh, I have like had a conversation with a lot of our alumni students who have said coming from uh, backgrounds like BCom, BA, they have also been mm -hmm. able to do it. So uh, let's talk a bit about more, like how mock, did mock interviews help you as well? Yes, ma'am, definitely. The mock interviews are the best in the Newton School because uh, you get the ac actual interview interview uh, environment so that you can easily tackle the interviews. Uh, it gives you the all basic knowledge and uh, you can prepare, you can build your confidence in the mock interviews so that uh, you like you need to prepare some interview answers that that you need to go through them so that mock interview helps you to prepare that questions and uh, answers accordingly and it will also build you your coding knowledge like you can represent yourself in front of interviewers so uh, mock interviews i are uh, you know helpful and they also uh, yeah, help you improve your communication skills as well right yeah. Yeah, yeah, it increases your confidence in the interview, yes. Okay. Now let's come to your placement phase. During your placement phase, uh, what was your preparation strategy? How did you, you know, how did you uh, strategize that these are the companies that I will be targeting? How did you do that? Yeah, ma'am. Uh, during my initial phase of the placements, uh, I just keep preparing that in a Newton school, there is a, a one portal like in the placecom phase. 
uh, they will guide you like uh, these companies are coming to uh, to you you need to prepare that thing and uh, this is the requirement of the company tech stack so we prepare uh, strategize our uh, study plan according to that and uh, we can manage to crack the interview right, right right and also during this while did you also make some friends of from newton school yeah ma'am lots of friends so how is the community feeling like being like a student are you connected to other folks because since it's an online platform not an mm -hmm. exact college or any institution you know uh, infrastructure so does it make you like feel left out how do you guys connect to each other no ma'am there is no issue like that like we have one, one groups to, uh, so that we can connect to each other and also newton school has a slack group where everyone is there and uh, you can also connect to the your teachers instructors and mentors so that there is no such a issue of con connectivity between the people so uh, you just mentioned mentors how helpful yeah. were the mentors and did you enjoy the mentor sessions and there is also one group i heard in the you know one mentor has a group yeah, so uh, what people. is it all like yeah ma'am uh, in the mentor session generally we have the people of uh, 10 people in a one group and uh, we have assigned with a one mentor and that mentor is helping us whenever we have doubt uh, we have a uh, discuss session in that uh, discuss session we take our doubts to the mentor and mentor solve that uh, questions so that everyone get the brief knowledge of that question so that everyone can upskill their knowledge uh, according to that text stack so that it is really beneficial and there is also one on one session with a mentor if you have any query apart from your text skills so you can that you can uh, communicate with your mentor that mentor will definitely help you great so as much as i can you know understand from what you are saying uh, coming from a non cs background might have been challenging at first but you are a person who has good discipline and routine and you were practicing on a day to day basis you made friends you you were uh, in touch with your mentors instructors everyone and gradually you were able to uh, by uh, take step by step and you know uh, towards your goal i believe right yeah yes yeah okay So, uh, where are you currently placed at? Where did you get your placement? Yeah, ma'am, I'm working as a software developer at Upkarak Tech Solutions Private Limited. Okay, and when did you get placed? I think it's uh, November. Yes, so, are you enjoying it? How is it finally being a developer after so long? Yeah, ma'am, it's really great, and uh, like. Uh, going to office is also great like uh, i have very good, good friends and teammates there so that there is nothing like uh, we can manage everything and especially i believe even i was in a scenario like this like uh, during lockdown or uh, these few years we were so much in home and then suddenly now we get to work with for something and with uh, teammates good teammates that makes work culture even better i believe better yeah ma'am yes right. definitely yes so i believe i have my answers i would just uh, ask a few one to two more questions uh, so yeah one two three things that i have been uh, getting a lot the questions that i have been getting a lot are that uh, i am from a non cs background would i be able to become a developer number one number two uh, i have a career gap or maybe i am a fresher right so is it possible to get a good uh, package at certain companies so i believe it's people like you who make it seem possible uh, mm -hmm. considering your career trajectory for your career gap does matter right so for after for your career gap and then to coming to a different domain starting things from scratch who knows to you sagar i hope mm -hmm. someone, anyone who's watching this video takes even a bit of inspiration from you one last mm -hmm. question that i have for you before we wrap up this ama session is that uh, okay. if there is any aspiring developer if there is any aspiring developer who is just one step away to make that decision if they want to become a developer or not and uh, they are in a very different stage in their life maybe they um, it may be a mother it may be someone who is very senior to you and me uh, someone who is just a fresher so anyone who is confused if they want to become a developer or not what would be your message or one advice to them uh, uh, first of all i want to say that uh, you should completely uh, vanish that mindset like uh, any non cs student can make the career in a tech field or that and anyone can do that if i can then anyone can with your dedication patience and practice you can make it and uh, 
Newton School provide that opportunity to you. Like uh, many students say that I am from non-CS backgrounds, uh, so that company can offer me a offer letter or give me a in chance, even chance for getting interview. So that Newton School is that platform which gives me the opportunity to sit at the uh, in, sit at interviews. Basically, you know that it, it is a great thing. Like uh, and uh, when you enroll in the Newton School, it will provide you opportunity so that you can actually uh, give the interviews of the product based company and you can showcase your uh, knowledge. And in the tech career, there is only only thing they look in you that what you what is your uh, potential and what is your uh, uh, skills. Only that matters, and uh, nothing like uh, you are from non CS or CS or you have career gap or you are like uh, nothing matters. I think so. That that really sounds amazing and quite uh, motivational, honestly. So again, yeah, Sagar, thank you so much for coming in on a working day. You know, wrapping up your work and then joining us on this YouTube AMA session. I mm -hmm. am delighted to have you today. Also, best of luck for your career. You've just started. There's a long way to thank go. You, They're always there, there by your side, and the community is always gonna be there. So yeah, thank you so much, Sagar. I will see you again, and we'll have a chat later. All right. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.